is going on guys welcome back for another episode of rise of warlords all right so i decided to pick this game back up and see what exactly is going on because the first video i made is getting a super awesome response okay so I, I picked it up and i figured out you know what let's do some other stuff here let's get some guys going back to the city don't know if that makes a big difference as far as like their stamina but sometimes they get hurt pretty bad whenever you're trying to take over some territories all right and i'm trying to make a lot of troops now, if you guys want to do a comparison of a game, this is almost like the new Lord of the Rings game. Pretty similar to it. Same deal. All right, so let's see if there's anything that we can do as far as... Let's do our conscriptions. Let's make sure we can supply these guys up, max it up, and do that. Because we got to get some troops, guys. That is the biggest thing I could find that's taken me the longest to um, get, is get those troops. All right, so for researching, we are kind of low on stone. Got my main city to seven. Now we have economic economic building, we got military building, and we have fortress building. Now I'm trying to see which one is the best. City's range of vision. That might be kind of good. Range of vision. But I think what was going on, let me see. Guard, train city guard to force the city and increase troop limit. Oh, that might be kind of good. But we gotta get the wall to five. All right, we've got the engineer camp. Increase level cap of the archer tower. Show what they freeze and camp. Hmm, expedition camp. Unlock camp construction function on the world map. And increase max number of constructions. That might be kind of good. Let's go ahead and do that. That's eight long hours. Now, we can complete that for 40 gold, which is very tempting, guys. But the gold does not come very fast in this game. You have to purchase that stuff like a mofo. All right, so stationed. We don't have enough there. Recruiting camp. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I think we have two. We got two builders right now. So we're okay with that. All right, so the researches are going okay. All right, that's the main thing right there is getting those researches done. Now you could do is I think up to like five, but you're gonna be spending like you're gonna trade resources um, just by doing that. So let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so right now we see that we are low on stone, so definitely gotta go through the quarry. Okay, so we can upgrade that thing right there, and it's gonna take 20 minutes. Now, if you go on here, it says, do you wanna spend 1,500 silver to open a temporary queue? Yeah, possibly. You could do that, like five, like you have up to five. Right now we have three. We have three builders going right now, so I think we can have another two more, possibly. Let's go ahead and see what we gotta do. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then we're gonna do this one. And then we'll do this one. I think we're or I think we're full. Yeah. It's just five. So five is all we can do right now. That's kind of, that's cool. We're using a lot of resources that we probably don't have. All right. Oh, we got our influence up. Okay, now we can chat because before, whenever I tried to go chat with the alliance, it said you couldn't do it because your influence has to be two hundred. So now we can chat. Because we've been taking over some resources um, in the area. Okay. And of course when you take over resources, you guys can farm them. Let me see, we got our guys here. Now they could probably stay there. And then we could also send them to go out and farm. They could farm resources, which would be great. But I think overall, taking over the territories is gonna be much better, I think. I don't really know though. So let's go ahead and get these guys to occupy. That one's a little higher than what they need um, done. So we probably won't use that one. That's like my second strongest um, set of troops. So we're gonna send them back to the city. And they look pretty intimidating when they're outside. My biggest set of troops I do have is this guy right here. Even this, it says military power is stronger than yours. A rash attack may cause devastating losses. And that's what we don't want. We don't want devastating losses. We can conscript. Oh, there we go. Conscript some more stuffs. Let's supply some more. There we go. Conscript. All right, cool. So we conscripted some stuff, and then I think we're going to be okay. So let's go ahead and send these guys in there. Occupy. But we did end up getting another um, set of heroes there. This game is all over the place, man. They got so much different stuff. You can just log on, and they give you a really good hero. <laughs> That's how good this is right there. Now, in terms of how good is this game, this game is good if you like to like, sit around and do some stuff on the sideline. 
All right, so you don't want to do too much until you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> it's a, you have to. I, I constantly change my teams around a little bit, and it's gonna take these guys just a little bit under four minutes to occupy this territory that we have. Okay, now these other ones, it's a level four iron. So let me see what it takes. If I can get these guys, no, that's a little a little tough there. Uh, I wish I could conscript these guys. We got no reserve. Oh, we got some. We got some reserves. So let's go ahead and conscript. And it doesn't help out much. So we need to get, should we get her some more troops? Because right now, one one person, like one group that we have is not going to be enough. We have four right now. And <clears throat> what I'll probably end up doing is sending these guys to farm. That's what I'll do. I'll just have them farm. See, one guy is critically injured for nine minutes. And we can go ahead in here and we can send a farm. Let's see, income for level one and two farming is very low. Let's go. I don't care. I just want to have these guys doing something so they're not too idle. We'll just do that for now. Just to get a couple, you know, whatever. <clears throat> a couple bumps of some resources. And then we can go from there. Now, if I look at my battle report, I see a couple wins. And, of course, they're going to have some loses and losses as well. But it is what it is, guys. Just scroll on through. And we can mark all as red. And we can go from there. All right. But my main thing that I'm trying to do right now is get all these things done as far as, like, training appointing and all that good stuff like that conscription because we just don't have enough of these guys um unlocked so we need to hurry up and get the search and the horse training unlocked and i don't know what that's going to do tavern needs to be reaching level one so if we can get that tavern built we got to get we'll get that one done next so what i think i got to do next is get the city but right now we're low on stone so really we have to get the stone leveled up guys and i watched so many videos on this game trying to figure it out and there's none Everybody does like the first sequence when you first start playing, like the first 17 minutes of the sequence, and that's about it. And nobody's saying a word. They keep their mouths um, shut. So I think for now, until this game gets a little bit more popular, if it gets more popular, which I think it might be pretty cool, hashtag not sponsored, then we can probably um, go on from there. But now it's going to be like nine minutes just for these little resources here. But like I was saying, it's probably it's trying to tell you that, hey, you're wasting time. You don't really need to do such of those things right now. You're wasting your time a little bit. And that's about all you're doing. All right. So, yeah, that is what that is. But if you guys do like this game and you guys are pretty curious or you guys know what's going on, let me know in the comments below. Because I know the first time somebody was like, oh, you don't even know how to attack. I did the same thing like everybody else did. I did the first 17 minutes of the deal, but I was actually talking through it. And I didn't. I never really did any research before that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I didn't know how to attack. But I do know how to attack now. Because what happens is you have these little enemies on the map here. You're going to want to attack those dudes right there. All right, so this guy's going to be here until about 23 hours or so, and then he'll be gone, all right? But he's going to go ahead and give us probably a, a hero or something like that. All right, so, yeah, we got storage. We got Higonomy, League of Heroes, all this stuff. It has a lot of stuff, guys. I haven't even explored anything. I just picked the game back up like yesterday, and I played for maybe like an hour or so, maybe two. But I'm really trying to see if I can actually attack this guy right here. He's like the closest person to me. And then we got some more things on the on the map, of course. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the event that I was talking about. As far as if you just log on, you'll get your guys some you get some heroes. All right, so we just got this one, I think. Lay Zenzi. We just got him just for logging on for the second day. All right, first day they gave us some little bunk ass silver right there for 10,000, 10,000 silver. And then Lay Zenzi. And then tomorrow we get the Alo. What is it? What is the name? Alo La? I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> I don't know. Alo Lee? I think it's Lee. All right. And then Minimoto. We got Minimoto in this game, guys. If you guys play Rise of Civilizations, there you go. Minimoto is in this game, too. Four star. All right. So we'll go ahead and do, like, maybe at some point, if you guys are looking for that kind of thing, we'll do, like, a hero breakdown and all that kind of stuff like that. So we'll recruit heroes and all that stuff right there. We don't have, you can't recruit anybody right now, but it's all good. All right, so this is all the ones we have right now. We got Lays and Z, and we'll break them down. I don't know who's the best one, but I imagine that with the the the, um, the stars, that's probably the best ones. S class. All right, so he's probably the best one from what we got so far. But we'll go into that with another video or so. Um, but I need to put this guy into a formation here, and then we'll be good to go. I think. Uh, he looks pretty strong. But either way, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.